Welcome back everyone, it's a new video from SP Vids and in this one there's going to be another SP tip for you. And one of the things that I've been trying to focus on recently is creating full beats in the SP, We're trying to use a door as little as possible and by that I don't mean a door to the house, I mean a DAW or a digital audio workstation. I'm trying to stay out of them as much as I can. In the EP that I just released, a lot of you have been listening to it so thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't, I'll leave a link to it below to, so you can go and check it out. But basically with that one I did, I would say 99.9% .9 of the work in this box. And then just used the, I just used Ableton a little bit to record the tracks into once I'd finished. And also bounced a few things into there to bounce back into the SP. And the reason I, I did that is I don't want to go into too much detail, but you can only resample so many pads at the same time on the SP. Um, I think it's four in mono and I don't know how many if you've got stereo so I had to bounce to something in order to bounce it back in uh, record it live out and then record it back in so yeah 99% of the work as I said 99.9% .9 of the work was done in this box and one of the things if we're working in the box one of the things that we want to be able to do which is really easy to do in a door is add a pause in the, in the beat right we want to get some nice pauses in our songs to just make that uh, a little bit more interesting and play on the listener's expectations a little bit as, as I've discussed in other videos already. Now there's, I'm pretty sure there's probably lots of different ways you can do this on the SP and that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to show you a couple that you can use and I don't really think you need more than these because they serve the same purpose so even if, you, if I only showed you one way that would be sufficient but I'm going to show you two ways just in case you want to experiment with it yourselves as well. So the first one which I think is the easiest is to use the isolator and basically what the, from what I can gather the isolator boosts the signals that you want to be boosted so uh, low, mid and high signals in your samples or beats so one of the things that you can do to be able to have a pause is to set these all to zero so zip by zero I mean the very left hand side of the dial pointing down to the left so I'm going to turn them all to the left as far as I can make sure they're definitely all being done and I'm going to take the isolator off I've got this um, little beat that I've put in it's nothing special I, I'm not going to be using it for anything just for the sake of this video so I made this little loop <laughs> And as you can see there, when I hit the isolator button with all these set to zero, it just cuts all frequencies basically. So that is probably the best way to put a pause in your beat, I think. And what I discussed in a, another video, the DJFX looper one, is where you have to keep in mind the song when you're doing a pause, or your beat, sorry, not, I always say song when I mean beat, sorry about that. So when, you, when you're using this button, you need to still be imagining the beat in your head is, is continuing because you're not actually stopping the beat, you're just adding, you're just uh, essentially turning the volume to zero, but turning the volume to zero and then quickly back up is too difficult. So th that's what this is doing, it's essentially turning the volume to zero, and then when you take the button off, it's putting it back up to whatever volume your sample is. So yeah, very straightforward with this one. You just have the beat going, and you keep counting the beat underneath, so it will be carrying on, and then you want to try and bring it back in on the beat. So let's for this example I'll, I'll i'll take it off on the first beat of the bar and i'll bring it try and bring it back in on the on the first snare okay not not very straightforward when your beat's really wavy and not done to a metronome but hopefully you get the idea with that one it's just basically as I say it's just a button which takes the volume to zero but the beat's still playing underneath so you need to keep counting and keep imagining the beat underneath and bring it back in on the right point by taking off isolator again. Okay now you can also do this with DJFX looper as well. This one's also pretty straightforward as far as I can tell these two um, dials don't matter one and three it's just one and three sorry you probably couldn't have seen that so one and three. Two is the one which you want to have a look on your display and get it to show zero zero zero. See how it go? It goes all the way down to minus one 
0.0 and then it goes all the way up to 1.0 so we want to get it in that sweet spot at 0 as so and then when we play the beat So there we go, it does exactly the same thing with the DJ FX Looper as well. You just set that middle dial to zero, and it, again, it acts as a, a volume control, setting the volume to zero. Very handy for in your beats when you wanna have pauses and you're bouncing it to whatever you're recording your beat into. You can just use those to add little pauses here and there and to make the beat sound a little bit more interesting. So nothing too major in this one, guys, but I just wanted to show you that quick little tip. Thanks to everyone that subscribed recently. Um, we're getting really close to 2K subscribers now, which is amazing. I said I'd do a giveaway at 2K, and we are going to do that, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I think that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks, the way the channel is growing at the moment. Had, I'd had about 200 subs in the last 28 days when I released my last video, and now I've had 222 subs. So the people subscribing is crazy guys thank you so much for the support just keeps growing and growing faster and faster and can't wait to get to that 2k and we'll do a giveaway and then after that the next giveaway will be 5k and then it's going to be 10k etc etc which we will get to i'm sure i'm sure i'm feeling optimistic about this channel guys also thanks massive shout out to everyone that's been to the shop and bought the beat pack or anything else in there as well really really appreciate the support with that guys it's uh I hope you've been finding the pack useful. As I say, I used all the drum sounds that I used for my EP are in that pack for you to use. Obviously, you're free to do your own thing once they're inside the box. That's what I've done. I've changed uh, EQs and that kind of thing. So, so yeah, put them in your box and mess around with them. Use the isolator and all the effects to get the exact sounds that you want to get from them, guys. If you're digging through trying to find the exact sounds that uh, appearing on my EP, you're probably not going to get them because I've done work to them after they've gone into this. Please, please, please smash that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already and please smash the like button as well because that just helps uh, with the uh, YouTube algorithms that gets me out there a bit more so I'd really appreciate that. As usual, leave the comments below if you have any questions. I love hearing from you guys. There's loads of loyal people that keep coming back and leaving comments so it's really nice to chat with you guys. And there's a nice little community in our comment section where everyone's super friendly. So if you've got any questions that you're not sure about, don't even hesitate to ask them because it doesn't matter what level you're at with the SP, there's people always in the comments, myself included, that are going to help you out, guys. So go ahead and do that if you want to. Apart from that, there's nothing else more from me in this video. Uh, there's going to be more drops this week. I'm going to be doing part two of the studio build. This is actually being filmed in a new location. Well, <laughs> not exactly a new location, but I've turned 90 degrees and I really like the setup now. It's, it feels a lot nicer with the window in front of me. And I'm going to be building that extra desk down the side. So if you haven't checked out that video, please go over. I'll leave a little link to it. And yeah, that's it for now, guys. Keep making beats, and I will be back very soon with more content for you guys. So take it easy. Peace out.